and we are going back up to Albany uh, in, on Wednesday, and we are going to hear the governor's state of the state, and I'm certain that the governor will be addressing anti-Semitism and hate and recognizing uh, the bravery that we saw uh, from one individual in particular, and that's uh, Yosef Gluck. And uh, Yosef... Um, It, it really stood out in, in this tragedy and, and shed some light in, in our darkest times. Uh, someone that uh, rose to the occasion and did what we hoped we would all do in such a dramatic and tragic situation. Uh, his bravery, even though when I talked to him the next day, he says, I did nothing. Uh, he's humble, but we know that if it weren't for him, unfortunately, this tragedy would have been far worse. Uh, not only did he help a young child out of the, the building, uh, but then once he did that, he ran back to do whatever he could to prevent the attacker from doing more damage. Picked up a small table, uh, threw it, used it as a weapon, and then used himself as a diversion to distract the attacker. And on top of all that, we are so grateful because he remained calm and cool, and he was able to uh, remember to to write down the perpetrator's license plate number that ultimately led to the apprehension of the perpetrator. Uh, that has let many of us uh, give us a sigh of relief, even though we know here in Muncie and throughout Rockland County and really throughout New York State, so many of us are scared, worried about these attacks, but we can rest a little bit easier because of the heroic work that Yosef did. Uh, in that simple act uh, of writing down a license plate number. Uh, it seems easy, but we know in a traumatic situation like that, uh, it's hard to remember anything. It's hard to remember just to, 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 to stay, to stay for fight for survival. Um, so with that, um, in, in working with our, our Senate leadership, uh, we have the ability to bestow the highest honor that the state Senate can, can give, and that's the Liberty Medal. Our majority leader, um, it, I was, uh, she was with us um, on, on uh, the following days after the attack and learned about the heroic work that, that Yosef did and agreed to uh, issue the Liberty Medal, which is the highest honor that a civilian can receive in the state of New York from the state Senate. And um, here is the Liberty Medal. And uh, Yosef, there we go. I'd like to thank the, thank the state senator for coming down, for giving, me this, for giving me this medal. I'd like to thank all the politicians for coming down. Everybody, thank you. Thank you. Supervisor, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And again, the, things, the, the medal doesn't come to us. I don't earn this medal. God earns a medal, not this medal, but earns a medal from all of us every day. But I don't know. Thank you all for coming down and showing us support. We hope we will still work together to help the community in the future. Thank you. We have our supervisor, Michael Specht, who would like to just say a few words. Supervisor Specht. Thank you, Senator. I'd like to, uh, first of all, thank the New York State Senate and Senator Carlucci for being here with the Tanner Rampo in our community, standing by us in this moment of, of uh, tragedy and also a moment of hope, and giving this award, well-earned award, to Yosef Gluck. But I'd also like to especially thank Yosef. You know, there's a rabbinical teaching that a person who saves a life saves an entire world. We don't know how many worlds Yosef saved that day, and we should all be grateful. And there are going to be many people that were able to go home to their families and will spend many more years with their families because of his actions, because he put himself above others, not just in fighting off this attacker, but in having the presence of mind to get uh, the information to get him arrested before anything further could happen. So I'd just like to, all I can say at this point is thank you. Our district attorney, Tom Walsh. Good afternoon, Yosef. On behalf of everyone in Rockland County, thank you for your service to the community. We've been saying you have to see something, do something, and Yosef, you saw something, you did something, and we're all better off and safer for your actions. Senator, thank you for coming down, thank and the Senate Majority Leader for recognizing this gentleman's bravery. It did save a lot of lives. And I want to look out to the people of Rockland County and assure you that the investigation is continuing. We are working with federal 
and local and state law enforcement to ensure the safety of the Rockland community. And we will continue to do so until we are sure that all the perpetrators and bad actors have been investigated, reached out, and we can look at you with confidence that this particular problem has been solved. Thank you very much. And we're, we're very fortunate we have our county legislator, Aaron Weeder, with us as well. I would also like to acknowledge that we are currently in the house of Mr. Gluck's father-in-law, Mr. Krause, and his wonderful, wonderful, beautiful family. And I wish all the cameras could be on this side to capture the beautiful family that Mr. Gluck has because we're family and it's family that creates communities that can have people like Mr. Gluck and keep us safe. The second point I would like to make is that, Mr. Gluck, you have saved us from the next attack because in all certainty, this individual, if he would have not been caught, would have planned his third attack and you have saved us. You have saved the people at this attack but you have saved the community from future attacks. Thank you, and may God bless you. Very fortunate we have from the village of Spring Valley, our trustee, uh, Utsin Tyson Francois. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so honored to be here. I want to say thank you, a special thank you to our wonderful senator, Senator David Carlucci, and to Mr. Yosef. You have challenged me today, sir, uh, not just today, but uh, throughout the whole ordeal. I want to say that as a public servant, I truly believe that one of the most important things that we have to do is to serve and to know that you actually took an act to serve to the greatest level and challenge me to do a better job and to encourage our community that is very important for them to try to reason together, to live together, because we are one community, one family. And I want to stand here to say I am against hate any, of any level. And I want to say thank you for you for challenging us to do a better job. And when we see something, not just say something, but we do something, which is the most important thing. Thank you again for allowing me to be here. Thank you. Thank you.